Imagine this for a second. What if you could take a long research paper or even just a simple text idea in your head and with a few minutes, it turns into real working code? Well, that's exactly what the brand new update of Deep Code is all about. In this video, we're going to explore Deep Code in detail. So now let's talk about what exactly is Deep Code. Deep Code is actually a complete coding ecosystem. It can take your idea, create a working prototype, test that code, and even handle the deployment part all automatically. The main reason behind Deep Code is to bridge the gap between ideas and real world software. For example, if you are a researcher with a paper full of concepts and algorithms, or even a student with just a project idea, Deep Code can turn that into real production ready code without you having to manually build everything from scratch. Now, just to clear up some confusion, you might have heard of Deep Code before. Uh, earlier, Deep Code was known for something completely different. It was acquired by Sneak, and back then it was focused mainly on uh, finding security issues in code and suggesting quick fixes inside your IDE. That was useful, but it was more about improving existing code. This new version of Deep Code is a totally different. It's an open source research project developed by the University of Hong Kong team focusing on an agenting coding ecosystem. Okay, now that we know what Deep Code is, let's talk about the most exciting part, its features. This is where Deep Code really stands out because it doesn't just help you coding, it takes care of the entire software creation process, okay? Let me break down for you. One of the most powerful features is called Paper to Code. Normally, if you need an academic research paper, it's filled with uh, theories, algorithms, and complex explanations, right? But turning that into working code can take weeks or even months. Diff code changes that. With Paper to Code, it can directly convert those research papers into high-quality, reproducible code. Next is the text to web. Imagine you just type a simple description like make me a dashboard for stock trading with graphs and live data. Deep code will instantly generate a working website with a proper front-end design and user interface. You don't need to spend days writing HTML, CSS, or JavaScript from scratch. Then we have text to backend. Just like text to web creates websites, text to backend creates the server side code. That means if you describe what your backend should do, like handling user logins, storing data in a database, or managing APIs, Deep Code will generate the backend system for you. This is not just basic code, it's designed to be scalable and reliable for real world applications. Now, here is something that makes Deep Code even more special. It doesn't just throw out code quickly, it also checks and improves the quality of that code through quality assurance automation. Deep Code runs static analysis to make sure the code is clean and efficient. It automatically generates unique tests so you can check if everything is working properly. And it even creates documentation for you. This means the output you get isn't just fast, it's also reliable, professional, and production ready. Now the real magic of Deep Code lies in its brain. And that's something called the multi-agent architecture. Don't worry, this may sound technical, but it's actually pretty easy to understand if you think of it like a team of AI developers working together, each with their own job. At the center, we have the central orchestrating agent. You can think of this agent like the project manager of the whole team. It doesn't write code itself, but keeps everything organized, makes sure the right tasks are assigned to the right team members and ensures the whole progress flows smoothly from idea to finished code. Then comes the intent understanding agent. This one acts like a translator. When you type in your idea or describe what you want, it figures out what you really mean. For example, if you say, I want a system that manages student attendance. It understands whether you are talking about a website, an app, or just a backend system, and then passes that intent clearly to the rest of the team. Next is the document parsing agent. Think of this as the researcher in the group. Its job is to carefully read through any research paper, technical documents, or long instructions you give. It then pulls out the most useful information and breaks it down into actionable details that can actually be turned into code. After that, we have the planning agent and reference mining agent. You can imagine these as the architects and researchers. They create the roadmap for how the project should be built, 
they also look at existing repositories and past code examples to learn from them so the solution isn't built blindly but based on proven knowledge finally the code generation agent steps in this is the developer of the team the one who actually writes the code but it doesn't just stop at writing the front end or back end it can also create test documentation and everything else you would expect from a real production ready project now let's talk about the backbone that makes all of this possible something called the mcp toolset you can think of it like the toolbox that deep code uses behind the scenes to actually get work done writing code is one thing but building real applications requires connecting to many resources and tools and that's where mcp comes in for example deep code has access to web search this means if it needs extra information like finding a coding library or checking documentation online, it can actually search the web instead of just relying on its built-in knowledge. That's a big step forward because it makes the AI more flexible and up-to-date. It also has GitHub integration, which is super useful. Let's say you are working on a project and you already have some code in a GitHub repository. Deep code can directly interact with that repo fetching files, analyzing existing code, and even pushing new changes back into it. This makes collaboration with human developers a much smoother, since GitHub is where most real-world projects live, right? Next, Deep Code can work with the file system. This means it can read and write files on your computer or development environment. For example, it could generate a new set of backend code and directly save those files in the right folders of your project. And finally, it has command execution abilities. This is like giving deep code the power to actually run things such as installing dependencies, starting a local server, or executing tests. In other words, it's not just writing code and leaving it there. It can actively manage and run parts of your project. If you're wondering how you can actually start using deep code, don't worry, the process is simpler than you might think. Since the deep code is available as an open source project on GitHub, anyone can access it for free and try it out. The first step is to visit the official deep code GitHub page. The link you can find in the video description. Here you will find all the resources, documentation and setup instructions. Just click right here and you will see an option to either clone the repo using Git or simply download it as a zip file. Cloning is recommended if you are comfortable with GitHub but downloading works fine too. Once you have the files, you need to make sure your system has the basic requirements installed, usually Python, Node.js, or Docker depending on what part of the code you are going to use. The documentation clearly lists these prerequisites, so you won't have to guess. After that, you can install the required dependencies. Normally, this is as simple as running a, a single command like this one, or npm install, depending on the environment. This step downloads all the libraries and tools deep code needs to run properly. The best part is since it integrates with tools like GitHub, file systems, and command execution, you can also connect it to your existing projects. That means you don't have to start from scratch. You can use deep code to add new features, improve current code, or even generate tests for code you already have. In short, the installation process is go to the GitHub repo, download or clone it, install the dependencies, run deep code and start giving it instructions. So that's the complete breakdown of the brand new deep code update. If you would like to try it out yourself, I have shared the official GitHub link in the description below. You can go there, download it and start experimenting with your own projects. I hope this video helped you understand deep code in a simple way. If you found it useful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more tech explainers and share this with your friends who love coding in AI. And don't forget to drop a comment telling me what you think. Will deep code replace developers or just make their lives easier? Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.